Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, advice. And uh, those of you who uh, follow this video know that I am somehow uh, attracted to uh, psukim, to, to verses in the Bible that have an unusual phraseology, that things are put in a way that just don't naturally sound right. And the other day my eye fell on a uh, verse in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 19. Your evil shall castigate you, your waywardness shall chasten you. And this struck me as odd. How does your evil and your wrongdoings castigate you? How do they punish you? I mean, they're, they're spiritual concepts. They don't, if, if you were to transgress uh, the law, the state would punish you. If you transgress uh, an order of the king, the king punishes you. But how does your action punish you? This struck me as, uh, this struck me as very odd. Um, I think the answer is like this. If a doctor tells you, warns you about something, and you don't follow his advice, you get sick. The, your disobedience, you, what you do wrong, that results in your punishment. If the doctor says, avoid a certain activity, if the doctor says, avoid certain foods, and you ignore him, the resulting punishment, as it were, is the result of your own actions. Your, your stubbornness, your, your pig-headedness, your refusal to obey, that results in the punishment. Um, the illness, the sin, to follow the analogy, uh, is the consequences of, uh, of disobeying, uh, in the cases of sin, obeying uh, the laws of God, the commandments of God. Someone who plays with fire is going to be burned. Um, similarly, this verse in Jeremiah, in my mind, is saying that the consequences of your actions are the punishment. So if you do good, things will go well. If you disobey, the result of that disobedience, the, the evil, the wickedness that you do, the waywardness, that castigates you. That is your punishment. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them of some use and some inspiration. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.